Accessing your Durrani CCTV system using the online management tool, star for live So just in your web browser, uh, we're going to recommend that you use Internet Explorer. Just has a high compatibility setting with running the features of your NVR or your camera. So we'll just go to star livecom That will bring you to the cloud surveillance. So basically, I just want to log in. Now, the login, what you're going to do is log in with your username and password that you use on your mobile device. So whatever you've used to set up your cloud account is what we need to enter here. So my username is Durrani. And enter your password and log in. Once you've logged into your account, you'll see a list here of devices that are registered to your account. So these are the ones that you own. Then we have shared cloud accounts. These are devices that other people have shared to you. And down the bottom, we have the sharing records. These are the devices that I have shared to other accounts, to other people. So if we need to access one of these systems, uh, you get all the information across the line here. So we see the status is online. We can choose to share our device from here, which is shared to a, another account holder. Retrieve the password for that device if we need to or we can access. So if we click on access here, it'll take us to our login page. And here we are directly logged into the NVR. So whatever changes you can make on your NVR, you can do from this page here. So it may ask you to download and install the latest plugin. So just go ahead and do that if that does pop up on your window. So here are all the cameras that we have and down the bottom we can just hit play and that will load up all the pictures of our cameras onto our screen for us. From there we can just double click to log into one of those cameras and have a look. And playback as well from any of those cameras. So for this you may need to set your compatibility settings. There is a, um, a guide under technical support on durrani.com.au if you're unsure on how to set your ActiveX settings. If that's required for your system. So from here, we can choose a camera that we want to look at. Again, we get the recordings down the bottom and the list of the recordings across the page here. We can click in and just have a look. That was a live recording at around 2.50 this morning and set up as well. So from the setup page, we can make any changes to the MVR that we like that will be automatically uploaded. So this system will work as you've logged in with your cloud account. It will work from any, any location effectively in the world. So I can log into my home NVR from my office um, from anywhere. So you can run through any of the settings that you need to tune, uh, need to fine tune, um, setting the time, daylight savings, changing uh, device names. There's also camera settings for encoding, um, changing some on-screen displays if you want to change the name of the camera. Anything like that there, we can sit here and change the names. So you can have a flow through and do everything you need to do here. All of these features are available directly on your NVR. But effectively, just for the online management service, you just need to log in using your username password you use for your cloud account to set up, and that will give you full access and control of all your devices. Alternatively, if you just wanted to log into your device when you're on the same local area network, if you do know the IP address of the NVR, you can just go ahead and type that in directly into your search bar. And that there will be able to log into your NVR. So from here, it is going to ask you for a login. So it's just your username and password you have for your NVR. And log in. So the reason we recommend Internet Explorer is it gives you all the options up the top here, live view, playback and setup. So from here, this is the same as using uh, your device list and accessing the NVR through here. As you'll see, we're on to the same NVR. One, we're using the external IP address and the port range. And this way here, we've just logged in using the IP address of the NVR, the local IP version for 
address of the MVR. And that will give me exactly the same access. And then we have obviously playback and setup. So the reason we recommend uh, Internet Explorer, if we go into Chrome or use any other browser, so I'll just use Chrome as an example. So if we type in here 192, we'll see here we get the same login page. So I'll just put in the same information. And hit login. You'll see here that my interface is a little bit different. So on Internet Explorer, I've got live view, playback and setup. But on Chrome, it all comes down to the settings that are installed on, on your Chrome and on your browser. We only have the live view and setup. So we'll get the live view. We will be able to do that from here. And we also get the setup feature as well, but we don't get the playback. So it's up to you which browser you want to use. Um, another cool little trick on Chrome is you can install the IE tabs. So if you don't want to have Internet Explorer running on your desktop here, you can just type in IE tabs and install IE tabs for Google Chrome and that will install the extension onto your Chrome browser. So you notice from here we now have an E tab up the top. That's our Internet Explorer emulator. So what we'll do is we'll go in and type So as we said before, we've got the live view and the setup. But if we run it in Internet Explorer emulator, we can see here that we're still in Chrome, but now we're using the IE tab emulator and now we have the full function of that MVR. So here we can hit the play and then we'll get playback as well via Google Chrome. Just a very quick run through on how to set up your ActiveX controls for Internet Explorer. Just up settings up the top and we've got internet options, into security, and custom level. Once in here, we just need to roll down till we see the ActiveX. So ActiveX control and plugins. We just need to disable this one here that will be enabled, just change to disabled. Then we've got download signed ActiveX controls, hit prompt. Uh, you can enable, I normally have this as enable, but um, you leave it as prompt. You saw in the earlier in the tutorial, uh, every time I tried to load a page, it kept asking me if it was okay if ActiveX was to run. That's because it is on prompt. So we have that on prompt there. And the download unsigned ActiveX controls, we just wanna make that one prompt. Okay. Then the last one we need to do is initialize and script ActiveX. What we want to do is change this one to prompt also. So making sure all three of those are on prompt or you can enable, enable and enable if you like. Once they're done, clicking OK and save. That there is set the ActiveX controls to allow the video streams to come through on Internet Explorer. Uh, as I said, with, with Chrome and Edge as well, uh, you'll notice that you don't have that playback function. If all you wanna do is live view, uh, probably no need to go through and do all this. Uh, if you're still having trouble viewing uh, the video, we just go into settings and go to compatibility view. From here, we just need to add the website uh, that we're having the issue with. So right there, that would just be the address of your NVR. So my address in my example that I was using, 192.168.0.37. So if I add that there and hit close, 
only do that one there if you're having issues with the video. Uh, it all depends on what version of Internet Explorer that you are running. So just leave that one for last. So from there, you shouldn't have any drama then logging in uh, to your NVR. This is what I was saying here before, because uh, we changed those ActiveX settings to prompt, you'll get these here. So if we just go yes, and that will give us access there to the NVR and away you go.